In Affinity Photo, you can modify shapes in all kinds of ways. I'm just going to go with a basic shape, something like a rectangle. So go to the Rectangle tool in the Tools panel, create a rectangle, and now you can modify it using the Alpha channel. How to do that? Well, what you need to do is go to Filters, and down to Colors, and Procedural Texture. Now, if you use this at the moment, it doesn't actually work in the way you think it should work. So what you need to do is go to select and select from layer. So selection from layer. So once you've done that, you've got a selection around that design. Now you can go to filters and down here to colors and procedural texture. And in procedural texture, you can now see you've got the selection around there. What you can do, you can go for presets. It's always a great start point. In. And I want to create something like bars or stripes in this design. So you can go down here, smooth bars. So smooth bars, great start point. Now I don't want the black, black and white, but I also don't want the smoothing. So I'm just gonna reduce the smoothing. You can make it very blurry, or you can make it very obviously sharp there by just reducing that down to zero. But also what you can do, you can just go up here and you've got the red, green and blue channel are being used. Well, I don't want those. I want red, green, blue, all to be deselected and then the alpha to be actually turned on. So that one's being used, the others are not. Now you can also increase this, you can put it to say 50. So you can create a lots of lines or maybe a hundred lines. Now the number of lines you get, I don't think it ever matches a hundred, that's not a hundred, is it? However, I want the actual design, so click apply. Now I don't want the selection anymore, so select and deselect, so you can remove that. But now if you use this, what you can do, just go over here to the Move tool, select that. And if I hold down the Alter Option key, that just duplicates that design. And soon, straight away, you can see now what happens. You've actually got the two layers. You can see through the design. You can also like rotate it to create sort of designs like that by just simply rotating it. But also what you can do, you can modify this as well don't have to keep it exactly just straight lines. Now you can use a number of filters. So there's filters and you can obviously, some of them you can use, you can blur it. You can also distort it, apply noise and so on. But I'm gonna go with distort and I can go down here and I can use displace. And the great thing about displace is that you can use underlying layers. Obviously in this case, there are none. But if there were, you could use it, but displace, with that, you can load map from file. Now I'm just gonna click there, and I'm gonna select one of these. These are just a, a JPEG file. Now I don't think it supports every format. I haven't tried it. JPEGs I know definitely work. So click open, and now you can see what happens. It actually creates, and you can really make it really, really distort. Maybe just push it to about 18, 13. You want to still see the bars. But you can see now you've got a very fragmented design from that rectangle. And this could be applied to any shape. So you could be using, of course, this was star or circle design if you want to create a really fragmented sort of design. And of course, you don't have to have bars either. You could use, of course, many other effects from procedural texture. And then click apply. So now you've got this design. Well, what you can now do is you can apply effects to it. So you can go over here to layers. Right down the bottom, you've got effects. So you can click that. And then you can maybe go for an outer shadow. So let's just add outer shadow, offset, and intensity. And you can just go up here, maybe go for bevel and boss, or 3D. So you can just go 3D, give it a bit of depth, and close. And now you've got this lovely sort of fragmented design with a shadow, and also a bit of 3D to it as well. And again, you can combine this if you want, resize it a bit, obviously not push it too far. And of course you can apply other effects. And again, you can do exactly the same as before. You can combine this. So you can hold down the alter option key. That's on the keyboard and just drag. And again, you can rotate it and much, much more. Also, you might think, well, actually I'm not happy with the color either. I want different colors. Just go to light with that selected. You can go to layer and you go to your new adjustment layer and you can go down here and maybe go for HSL. Now, unfortunately, what happens, it puts it above slightly odd. You think it would actually apply it to the actual pixel layer there. 
but it doesn't. So you can recolor that and it recolors everything because anything below is actually modified by this HSL. So close that. Well, what I need to do, I just need to drag this down. I can just place it in here and up. All things highlighted. So the whole long line there, highlighted and release. And now it's associated with just that. And you can then manipulate that and resize it. And maybe distort it in other ways as well. So you can create all kinds of very extreme designs just by combining a couple of these layers just for a very basic rectangle. But also you can, of course, use other filter effects. So filters, go down here, distort, maybe use mesh warp. So mesh warp and just distort that design. Now you could of course do that with the just the standard bars as well, perfectly reasonable. So you can create again even more unusual designs. Or double click there to create even more unusual distortions and then click apply. So you've got that design all again from a very basic rectangle, all just simply using the alpha channel. So if you've got that, filters, I'll make sure you select it, that's the key thing. If you don't select it, the whole image will be applied, which is not probably what you want. So selection from layer, and then with that, go to filters and use color and procedural texture. So procedural texture, you can create all kinds of weird and wonderful alpha design where you can break the image apart very easily. And that's just purely from the alpha channel. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you, a like or dislike, Always appreciated. Please subscribe to the channel. Always add new tutorials all the time. Bye.